Hey everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Giga Texas construction update video. Well, it's Wednesday, the 5th of April, 2023 here at Giga Texas. And as you can see by this image, it started off pretty rocking with a large thunderstorm cell coming right by the factory. So I had to delay a little bit of my uh, flight today in order for it to clear. Still a little windy, but overall not too bad of conditions. Now, a few things I want to talk about for the intro today. First, here on the west side of the Central Highway, we see more of that grade work on the west side of this west support facility permitted area. And they continue to remove the hills, fill in the ponds, and overall prepare this grade, I think, to extend the west warehouse on wheels out to this side which would make it about three times the size that it currently is. So pretty cool to, to observe this in action. The next thing I want to talk about is here on the south end of the factory where we know that they're doing all of the preparation work to begin construction. And as you can see by this image, most of the grade has been prepared. All of the underground old items, including stormwater pipes, have been removed and it's just really starting to look like a prepared construction site. Nearby here, as you can see by these images, the two cranes are assembling the pier drilling apparatus. And this is going to be used to drill into the ground to make the bores that will then be filled with rebar and concrete for these reinforced piers. The next thing I wanna talk about that you'll see in the video is over here at the west main entrance. We know that they continue to reconfigure this section and we've been watching to find out what they're going to do. Now we see that large trees are being planted, most likely on either side of the cyber berms in those triangular excavation areas that we've been monitoring. Obviously the pipes then are going to be used to help with irrigation of this section. It's pretty cool to see and it's uh, another change that I wasn't quite expecting here at the main entrance, but it'll probably look very nice when it, once it's completed. The last main area that I want to talk about today is over here. This is the Megapack battery electric storage system site. And not only has the grade been prepared in this rectangular section and gravel has been applied on the south end of it, but we now see several semi trucks delivering equipment which may be the items needed to begin the construction or at least the next phase of construction on this particular site so it's pretty exciting to see and i can't wait to find out what more that they do here in preparation for that construction there is a lot more to see and we'll talk about in the video itself so you make sure you watch it all the way through and as always thank you very much for your support and for watching my videos. I do very much appreciate it. I hope you have a great day. A special thank you to all of my outstanding Patreons for your continued encouragement and support. Patreon members get access to hundreds of high-resolution photos, previews of the future material, and direct dialogue with me. If you would like to support my channel, please consider becoming a patron using this link, which is also in the video description. Please also consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons as this helps as well. Thank you. My drones are ready and raring to go. Let's go flying over Giga, Texas. On this early morning here at Giga Texas, the rains have cleared enough, so I'm going to fly on the west side over this material storage location and also the warehouse on wheels and give you a closer look and an update on the earthwork that is going on here on the west side of this uh, clearing and uh, what's called the West Support Facility permitted site. And as you can tell, the earthwork here continues 
They are widening this entire section. They're removing these hills and some of the ponds. This is uh, what remains from the sand and gravel mine. And they're preparing this entire section for a level grade, which may suggest that they might uh, widen the section that is being used for the trailers for the warehouse on wheels. You can see a little bit on the left have the left hand side of the screen and I'll be continuing to monitor to see if that is in fact what they do. But if so, it will triple the amount of space available for all of these trailers. We also can tell by the uh, water tower on the bottom of the screen that Champion Site Prep is the company that is performing the work on this side of the highway. And this is a good look back at the main factory to orient yourself where we are. So let's uh, get ready to go across the highway and we'll resume the flight on that side of the construction site. On the south end of the building, that entire dirt section has had pretty much all of the old stormwater corrugated pipe removed, some of the electrical conduit, some of the underground structures, utilities, and other items that were installed here uh, over the last couple of years. All of this has been done to prepare for construction to begin. And as you can see, most of the grade here now looks very close to being able to sustain construction which is outstanding to uh, see. On the south end of the cyber pond, I'll bring the drone down a little bit lower, you can see another very interesting delivery on a very heavy lift trailer. I don't know what this is. I don't see the markings. I'm not sure if this would be for Idra or if it's something else, but very interesting uh, to see nonetheless. We cross over these trailers bringing more of the rebar that will be used possibly for inside the stamping two as they continue the slab work or possibly for some of the piers that the cranes that you see here will be uh, beginning to drill. And those cranes, uh, as you can see, are getting assembled with the drilling apparatus. And this will be done to drill bores down into the ground. And then they will fill those with rebar cages and then concrete to make some pretty strong and reinforced piers and that will be used to help support portions of the footings that will have the uh, columns that support the future structure. But this is a good close-in view of how this work is progressing and how the two cranes are working together to assemble that drilling rig. On the bottom left you can see more of the rebar that has been uh, moved here for that work. On the bottom left, you can see these two pipes with kind of an angled and uh, crimped end. This is actually on the outside of the new bypass for the stormwater pipe. So perhaps they are getting this configured for future work, but it does not affect this entire graded section that you see ahead of us uh, for that construction. There are some materials, some uh, deliveries in green and blue wrapping here on the south side that we moved into the building. On the upper right, on the east side of the stamping, you can see those blue items. Those are stamping machines and metal folding machines that will be moved into these two doorways that you can see behind this truck with another delivery. That's stamping two, where they're finalizing the foundations for that equipment. On the temporary platform, we can see uh, it continues to be active despite all the uh, work going on around the slab and the ground. Uh, we can see a truck bringing more deliveries and some other uh, steel items that are being uh, positioned to be lifted up onto that platform and inside General Assembly uh, on the third floor. As I bring the drone down, you can see this clearing uh, and it's all flat next to that truck. That's where they removed the last of the steel corrugated pipe for the underground water management system so that looks like it's complete and here's a slightly different view of the cranes and that drilling apparatus that is being set up continuing to the north you can see that black and capped groundwater 
uh, system and that's waiting for the construction to continue and then it will be lowered down to the grade of the final structure. As we continue flying north along this side of the building, you can tell where the white stain has stopped for now. You can see more of the windows now into that uh, larger window section being uh, covered with the plastic wrap and crews preparing to uh, continue to install the white stain on this portion of the building. Very soon it will be reaching the west main entrance. So the continues progress uh, at a pretty quick rate on this side of the building. Speaking of the West Main entrance, here's another big change. The crews are now installing some of those large landscaped trees. It looks like on both sides of the cyber berms in those triangular uh, excavation sections. Here you can see crews preparing another uh, hole to plant the uh, tree that you can see on the left hand side of the screen waiting. And also some of those white poles, I believe that's part of the irrigation system that will serve the landscaping on this side. As I pull back, I'll give you a good view of a higher altitude of how this west main entrance continues to transform. And at the bottom of the screen, we can see those uh, kind of the trapezoidal uh, obelisks uh, and those are in concrete. And some people think that those might be benches for the front entrance. And I'll bring it closer here. You can get a good idea of the work that is going on with these trees and how they're being planted and some of the other work to uh, reconfigure this section one more time. But I think that this is getting close to the final iteration of the West Main entrance. And this is the section where some of the trees and other of the uh, landscape materials has been uh, temporarily stored. So most of those trees waiting to be planted. We know are gonna go by the west main entrance. You can see some of the concrete planters as well and how this section of the western uh, part of the building appears today. As we continue further to the north across this berm, uh, we'll prepare to uh, fly up onto the roof section and take a look at some of the changes that are going on uh, with the uh, ventilation ducts and some of the cooling enclosures. Looks like with the storms we just had, it kind of ripped a lot of the temporary plastic covers over those uh, cooling uh, enclosures, but otherwise uh, uh, not a lot of change in the, this particular section over the last, uh, say, uh, week or, or so. As we come back down towards the north end of the building, there's a couple of things that I want to show you as soon as uh, uh, we get through this transition. You can tell that there's a heavy lift truck that's just delivered something getting ready to move away. We can also see that uh, uh, large yellow uh, device with what looks like a concrete jackhammer. So we may see some more concrete removed in this area, perhaps inside. This is the two doors for the plastics manufacturing section kind of opened partially and the two platforms for the paint shop. As we wrap around the northeast corner of casting, we see quite a bit of changes here. We see a lot of rack mounts for the castings. We see four more bodies for the model white in various stages, probably for recycling. And we see quite a bit of these castings arranged in a very nice and neat format. So probably not gonna be used for uh, recycling. We can also see quite a bit more of the castings on the east side. And a little later in the video, I will show you that they extend nearly one third the length of the building. As I pull away, I'll show you another uh, area where water pipes, these blue pipes are being installed. This is to connect to the water main and it runs over to the battery cathode plant and dye shop complexes. And we'll see where this uh, pipe uh, runs throughout the video. Just on the other side of this road, you can see another section that's being excavated and just to the north of Tesla Road is where that continues to the east. As we approach this new construction site for the Megapack uh, battery electric storage system, today we see for the first time some pretty large deliveries in these three trucks. And it looks like there's a, a forklift moving some materials out of that. I think that we may be seeing for the first time some of the delivery of uh, equipment or materials necessary to begin the construction on this new Megapack uh, 
facility. So I think this is a really great to see and I'm really looking forward to finding out how they're going to be constructing this uh, battery electric storage system or mega pack, especially on this rectangular clearing that you see on the left hand side of the screen. And I will turn back to give you an overall view of this section and the deliveries and how it appears today. We see the two transformers and that protective wall between the two transformers here on the south end of the permanent electrical switch yard. We also see more of the equipment and some of the steel components have been installed just to the south of those transformers and it's really looking like uh, close to a completed assembly on this side of the switch yard. As I continue to move towards the north you can see the crews have been very busy uh, installing the wires between the tall uh, steel poles and these A-frame structures. And this is the primary uh, initial contact that brings electricity to the electrical switch yard. So continue progress with that installation. Also, as I zoom in, you can see crews doing some trench work on the northwest corner here. They're installing more of those steel corrugated pipes, which are part of the water management system that runs around this uh, installation and will help to prevent uh, any problems with the heavy rainwater that uh, might uh, happen here at uh, Giga Texas. As we continue further to the north, you can see where the crews and the utility trucks are arranged for continual uh, installing the wires onto these electrical uh, steel poles and how this end of the site looks today. And I will turn back towards the switch yard and we can see how it appears with the mega pack construction site and the main building in the background. So let's uh, fly over towards the east and take a look at the dye shop and battery cathode complex and the progress over here today. On the north end of the battery cathode plant, we see those tanks still waiting for installation. The temporary structure for some of the materials just on the west side. We can also see how this side of the building looks today and the cell test lab small steel structure at the bottom of the screen. I'll zoom in as we fly along this east side of the battery cathode plant. It gives you a good idea of the work that's going on inside. One of the things that is of note is this yellow crane has been moved from the dye shop to the east side of the battery cathode plant. It looks like there's deliveries of concrete wall panels and it looks like perhaps they're going to be using this large crane to start sealing off more of the cathode plant, which is a great sign, which means that they're getting closer to having this prepared for operation. And uh, We'll continue to monitor to see how many more of the wall panels are installed. Here's a good view of the overall east side of this uh, battery cathode plant. As we continue towards the west, we can see the south end of the battery cathode plant on the right, and also the dye shop on the left. And at the bottom of the screen, you can see where there's trench work and crews preparing and installing electrical conduit. You can see on the right hand side of the screen those four concrete boxes. The green transformers will be uh, installed on top of those four boxes. You can see that on the right hand side of the screen and you can see the electrical conduit into these two trenches. This will eventually run all the way over to the west and connect electrical power for these two facilities. As we look at the dye shop in detail, we can see the east and center sections inside with the uh, slab work that has been mostly completed. They're working on the west side. You can see the form work here at the base of the columns. That's for the perimeter gray beam, and that will also help support the wall panels once that is completed. I'll zoom in here, and you can get a good look at the uh, 
uh, slab work that is going on on this side of the building, the yellow moisture barrier around the piers that have been installed in this section, and then similar piers but in a deeper foundation in this large rectangular formed section. And you can see the crews installing more of the rebar in this section. This is going to be carrying something that's extremely heavy and that is why they're making this foundation so reinforced and so deep. These piers are very similar to what we'll see on the south end and they were drilled by a similar crane and drilling apparatus that we talked about earlier in the video. But I'll pull back away from the zoom in and give you a good view of the north end of the die shop and how it appears today and uh, I'll also give you a good overall view of the west side and all the materials the workshops and the activity on this side of the site As we approach these open sections of the battery cathode plant, we can note that the platforms, the temporary platforms have been removed. And we can also see how the interior appears right now. The stairs look like the crews may be preparing to remove them here. So we may see wall panels uh, on this open section soon. This uh, steel galvanized uh, structure is uh, continuing to see the progress. Now this is going to be a chiller system with a primary and secondary loop for the battery cathode plant. Also, what you cannot see here is the uh, large tanks that were uh, temporarily stored here on the concrete section. They have been moved away and it looks like there's a form of wood on that concrete to install another small uh, slab for more equipment. Here on the left hand side you can see those concrete vaults and more of the conduit. This will connect to the conduit we talked about earlier. And also we can see a truck delivering more wall panels for the east side of the cathode plant. As we fly over this, uh, this material storage location just to the north of the warehouse on wheels, we can also see how the warehouse on wheels appears now. It does look like it's shrinking in comparison to the west side warehouse on wheels and all that earthwork we saw earlier may indicate that all of these trailers at some point may be moved across the highway. But that's another thing we'll continue to monitor. This new clearing has had all of the gravel mix installed and it looks like there are some trailers and some materials being stored here. So uh, not sure if they're going to use this temporarily as a material staging location or if this is stuff that is going to be used for the construction uh, at some point in the future. But I think this uh, fly around gives you a really good uh, view of how this site has transformed, how it currently looks, and you can see that notch on the left-hand side out of the otherwise square foundation. new car staging and transportation lot looks reasonably busy today. More of the Model Ys here on the east side than on the west side, but many of the trucks lined up to pick up and transport these Model Ys off the site. And you can see more of the Model Ys arriving on the left-hand side of the screen as well. As we continue to fly towards the building, I noticed this interesting truck with an accordion, accordion a trailer it's opened up and this model y was rolled off i guess you could say it's using the nicola form of propulsion and i'm not sure why they are uh, moving the vehicle this particular way or why they use this particular truck but it is an interesting uh, observation i made while i was flying over to take a look at this uh, installation and this is again that uh, kind of a wind tunnel that has a turntable at the uh, 
east side, as you can see on the left-hand side of the screen, and that's used to put vehicles here and then change their orientation to the relative wind coming out of the wind tunnel for various tests. You can also see it looks like a trench with conduit to connect that green rental generator to this facility to provide the power for this to operate and some other equipment nearby. But this is a good overall view of how this looks today and some of the changes since my previous video. This new car testing calibration and preparation lot looks extremely busy as always and all of the superchargers are very active on the south side, not so much under the canopy. As we get closer to the east side of the factory, we can see more of those racking systems for the castings now in front of that east entrance, more of the trench work and preparation for concrete in front of these new receiving doors. And also, this is a good view of the number of castings that have been arranged on this side of the building. And as we continue to fly to the north, you can see just how many there are, also some more of the racking systems for them. And uh, overall, the number of castings and the size of the space needed is about one third the length of the building now, which is amazing. You can also see how the castings continue on the north east corner of the casting machine structure as we climb um, an altitude and take a look back at the main facility. In the far distance, you can see where we began the flight at the start of this video and also the main factory. And as I continue to pull away, I'll give you a overview of how the entire site looks today. The mega pack uh, construction site directly below the drone and on the left hand side will be the electrical switch yard and its construction. As always, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it and I hope you have a great rest of the week. Take care.